in children with anorectal malformations or imperforate anus, because they require surgery to correct this problem, sometimes that surgery can also have an effect on the bladder. And for that reason, we want to test the bladder maybe before surgery and then also test it after surgery to see how it's working. In addition, a percentage of children with anorectal malformations also have spinal cord anomalies and sometimes can have what we call a tethered cord. And a tethered cord can also affect bladder function as well as bowel function. And so children with a tethered cord may have a higher risk of bladder and urethral sphincter dysfunction. So the bladder has two jobs really. It's supposed to fill up and hold urine, and then it's supposed to squeeze and empty the urine. And there's lots of nerves and mechanisms that go into making that work. But sometimes one of those functions or both of those functions don't work and the bladder can't hold urine and maybe your child has urinary incontinence or is leaking urine, or the bladder can't empty urine and then the child has urinary retention or maybe is at a higher risk of urinary tract infections because they can't get all the urine out. So this is what we're able to evaluate and assess with urodynamics. Urodynamics testing is a uh, special type of test that's done to assess the function of the bladder and the urethral sphincter. So it is an invasive test where a catheter is placed into the bladder through the urethra. There's also a small catheter that's placed into the rectum. This helps us measure the pressures in the bladder as well as pressures in the intestine. And the information that we're trying to get from doing a urodynamic study is one, the size of the bladder, so how much urine the bladder can hold. Two, we're looking at pressures in the bladder. So we want low pressures in the bladder. High pressures can eventually affect the kidneys. We also can see when a child pees, if they're able to empty completely, or if there's some left in the bladder. In addition, the urodynamics with the EMG probe can tell us how the urethral sphincter muscle is working. And it also lets us know how the nerves to the bladder and the sphincter muscle are coordinated or working together. So it gives us a lot of information about bladder and urethral sphincter function.